Well, another day at Mud Fossil University trying to understand the truth about our ancient past. What is this? Well, everybody probably says, ooh, that's Stonehenge. I say, yes, it is. What is it really? Well, it's a bunch of rocks standing up, and they were dancing around it and doing all kind of crazy things. Let me tell you something. That is a monument to a giant. That is the foot. And this is the body. You see how green this is? Greenness happens where decaying bodies are. You see how green it is down here? This is, that's what's going on here. This is a, dec a, a memorial to a dead giant, and that is the foot. And it's called the heel stone, and there's not a human being alive that can't recognize that that's a foot. It's incredible that our scientists can't recognize it. Okay, my friends, I would say get anybody maybe five years old and up to look at this and tell you what they see when they look at it. Because I think they will tell you it is a foot. Now, if you were to see a doctor and ask him about your toes and the circulation of your toes, what would he say? He would say, well, arteries and veins come to the tips of your toes and fingers. And at the end, they transfer. You see those little dots right there? Dots right there? These two little dots right here at the tip of each toe? That's where the blood transfers over from the artery into the vein and goes back to the heart. It's absolutely amazing. I contacted Stonehenge. I said, you got a foot there. And they said, don't ever contact us again. This is where the blood comes out, too. I mean, it's just, there's no question what it is. And it's called the heel stone. And I'm telling you right now, that is a monument to a fallen giant. I don't forget, I showed you the, this. I don't have a good shot of the toes, but they're exactly the same as the fingers. They're the terminals. And there's the terminals right there. At the very end, what happens is you've got a vein and an artery. The vein comes back to the heart. The artery brings the blood down. And it has three spots on the side. There's two here and one at the tip. The vein has the same thing, one at the tip and two on the sides. The veins have clamps. I probably showed you this, or I'm going to probably go into a lot of anatomy because people don't understand how the veins, arteries work, blood vessels, capillaries, all that stuff. It's, it's a little confusing, and I don't think they teach it very well. It's very simple, but it's, it's, um, you can make it very confusing by making terminology that, that is, is, nobody understands. <laughs> And that's what they do. They make it so confusing that they're the only ones that can, can profess it. All right, they came all different sizes. I have feet here from, from other sized creatures. That's where the tibia sits down, right there in that cradle. And the fibula would have sat right on the side here, and it's fallen off. And that's what we call no toe. The toes are built into them. These are diff very different. You see that? That's where a bone came down. That's where a bone came down. This is where blood is in that, in this foot. And this foot is turned really into sandstone now. But if you know how to look, you can tell. There's a strap here that holds the fibula on. And this one didn't erode away. That's where the fibula attached. And that strap of tendinous material held the fibula right like that. Most of them fall completely off. You see this? If you understand what the tendon looks like, that's the spot right there where the, the fibula would have attached to these tendons that glue it right down. That's why they just fall right off. You see how they fall right off? They fall right off. Well, this one died laying with that side down. So the fibula didn't, well, the fibula fell off, but it left all of the, the gluey part and where it did attach. You see, this is very cool stuff. You have to really do some investigating. You can't just look at this and just dismiss it, which is what's happened with academia. They have no interest in discovering the truth about our past. I thought that's what their, their, their whole function was. It's just not. It's to dismiss everything that you can see with your own eyes. It's, it's, a, it's a distressing situation, really. They force the kids to pay them and then force them to say what they want them to say. Otherwise, they destroy their life. It's a, it's a really enslaving situation right now.